last Malcolm Xmas, which was 2018, uh, Slanta Paws brought these green LED indicator lights, 120 volt AC. These are a very simple device. There is nothing more than a little green, tiny green LED, and in the heat shrink is a resistor, and it runs on AC, and it lights up dimly, I know, and that's it. But I got these for a reason. The reason is I wanted to put them on these boiler pumps so I know which ones are running. Now, the best way to do this is to take the cover off and wire them in, which obviously I'm going to have to do, and drill a hole in the cover and actually mount it properly. And before we do anything else, let's get rid of some of the cobwebs here and kill power to the boiler. So that way I know that it won't fire up and it won't do anything. And I'm also going to turn the gas valve to pilot and leave it there just in case anything were to happen. I know it doesn't fire when there's no uh, power to it, but just to be on the safe side, we'll do that. Pretty packed in there. Not nice looking at all. So I don't know exactly where I'm going to mount it. I don't think I'm going to drill it, at least for right now. Uh, that just sort of really isn't in the cards right now. I don't want to do that. I could loosen the clamp and have it stick out and just bend it so I could see it that way. That might be an option. But I think uh, what I'm going to have to do is get it and figure out where I'm going to put it. And I'm not going to set the tripod up for this because I'm going to end up blocking the shot. Because this is an incredibly tight spot right here. The wire as it is just barely reaches it. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to have to play with this and see what the deal is. And I will come back once I have it hooked in. After taking a look in here, what I'm going to end up doing is just sticking the bulb out the back here. I've loosened the clamp here, and I can slip the wires through. If I were to mount it in the cover, uh, that wouldn't be too good, because then the cover would have to just dangle there, and you'd have to take the wire nuts off to get it out. And Not that anybody's really going in here, but even so, you know, we want to be careful about that. And... Um, I could theoretically drill through this, but being that this pump sits sideways, that's not going to help anyone. It's kind of, you know, kind of going to be hard to see. So I think just sticking it out the back and just bending the wire, it's not the cleanest insulation, but it'll do the trick. That's about what I was going for. This I can just bend like that, and I should be able to see that from afar. Not that it lights up brightly, but... Uh, That'll certainly do. So that looks good. And now I just have to sandwich it back together. Otherwise, I just put white to white, black to black, and put the wire nuts back on. Nothing to it. Okay, one done. If I didn't tell you, you probably wouldn't even notice. It's right there. So I think that'll work just fine. Easy to access the wires inside and that. Just got to do the other one now. See, just loosen the clamp up, I could slip the wires in, and wire nuts right there. And once again, if I didn't tell you, you probably wouldn't even see it. Good. So provided either of the zones are now calling for heat, and the wire didn't get cut by the clamp, which I wouldn't foresee that happening at least now, and if it did, I think the wire would just act as a fuse itself and just take care of itself like that, blow up in there and everything else will be fine. So it's time to plug it in. Something turned on. Oh, looky there. We have a green clean light. There it is. Gorgeous. This zone isn't calling for heat right now, so I'm just going to leave it alone because I have other things to do and uh, with the boiler actually. And perhaps by the time it's done, this will be calling for heat. So that's going to do it. They're actually a lot brighter than I had thought. So that's a great thing. Let me actually shut the lights. Because the whole idea was that I could see it at a glance. And obviously, 
even with the lights on you can plainly see but let's see what it looks like with the lights off well, that certainly works for me I do love me some blinking lights so everything is awesome in my next video I have another little treat for the boiler and hopefully like I said by then the other zone will be calling for heat so that's going to wrap this one up. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you click like. Make sure you click subscribe. And take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.